Oh my god, just can these movies can they just end? Can they just end? The Forever Purge. So, The Forever Purge is the fifth Purge movie in the Purge franchise. Jesus. Remember when this movie, when the first movie came out, and it was like, oh, the idea of murder being legal for 12 hours and shit, like, oh, they, they could really do something with that. Uh, here we are in 2021, uh, five movies in, and it ain't getting better. Is the movie good? Well, pff, no. It's such a shame, too, because, like I said, I, 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 am I a fan of these Purge movies? It, mm -mm. I am a horror fan, I will say, at the end of the day, but I recognize good horror movies and bad horror movies. It's, you know, I, you gotta take the good with the bad. But I will say this Purge movie, I was just like, I liked the idea of what they were going for in this movie, but at the same time, the idea just kind of went in the background and it just became just another Purge movie. Like, really say at the end of the day, it's just another Purge movie. You've seen this movie not once, not twice, Three times already! <sighs> Damn. Looking the pros and cons, well, I believe that The Forever Purge comes out in theaters officially tomorrow. Oh boy, let's let's power through this shit. Rip off, okay, acting in the movie. I don't know any of the actors' names. I don't, but I will say the acting in the movie is just, it's the same as the other Purge movies. Nobody stands out. You always have that one hero, and then you always got that one, you know, badass and shit. And it's up to the heroes and the badass, the team up to pretty much just survive another night of murder Christmas. And that's the acting in the movie. Except this time, it focuses on, you know, these Mexican. So we got Mexican people leading a Purge movie this time, so... Go team! Go one for diversity. Plot in the movie. Okay, plot in the movie is the fact that this movie takes place, I guess, uh, I guess 10 months after the election year. I know you're thinking like, wait, 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 what? When was that one? It goes to purge, purge anarchy, and purge election year, then the first purge, and then you got this movie. This movie takes place after the third movie, not the fourth confusing I know anyway it takes place after election year and now it's, I guess the purge is gonna officially come to an end so there's like one last purge going on and shit like that so the purge happens and you got these two people that's like okay we're gonna you know just survive this shit good time so when the purge is over it's like okay cool life goes back to normal right right nope because now you got these group of people that pretty much just like yeah we're just gonna purge forever and shit just you know break the law break the boundaries it's just gonna be purging all the time now pretty much just like i said we have the same scenario we had in the last couple of purge movies a group of people trying to survive the purge even though the purge is over still gotta survive it the purge of the movie i will say what are the purge hmm like i said i like the idea the fact that okay we're gonna have a situation where what will happen if people just you know purged after the purge was over i thought about that i was like that's an interesting concept the trailers made it seem like okay we're gonna explore that concept maybe figure out okay you know what, what could they do with that and the countries find out that yeah it's like they they it happens but then it's quickly forgotten because now it just turns to a regular survivor movie a bunch of people just trying to survive the shit that's happening in the purge we've seen it done before so like i said even on that aspect you have an idea but it's just like tossed in the background con the movie oh my god first of all this movie's not even as gory as the last couple of purge movies i remember the purge movie just having that like excessive like over the top gore and kills shit like that make you be like god oh, this is like grade b saw nope not this one this movie has like one trap Kinda. He's watching. It's like I forgot all about it. It's just like a bunch of generic shit just happening. To people, you know. Even when it's happening, it's kind of like you see someone's head get cut, but then it's like it cuts away, so you don't really see it. Like if it's made for TV or something. God. Then when the movie's done, it just, does it even feel like anything really happened? It, I felt the beginning of the movie at the same way I felt the end of the movie. So. They're good with that. So the end of the day, Forever Purge, like I said, it's a movie that you've seen three times already. To bring anything new to the table too much, the actors in the movie are just, okay, passable. Kills the movie or even just like, okay, whatever, seen it done better in other Purge movies. I hate to say this, but I feel like this is like the lowest on the totem pole. So I will say that the Forever Purge is definitely a three out of 10, which is just meh. Whatever your thoughts about the Purge movie, put in the comments down below to talk about it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Always subscribe. Until next time.